they were up here in Meg, where the IRA or Republicans, whatever you want to call them, think that they're going to create a no go area like they've had over the last 30 odd years. Well, that's not going to happen. Because if the police aren't given the resources to come up into this area, the ordinary law abiding citizen is going to come up and report what's going on in this community. I would ask you all, how many phone calls did he receive from this area before the police come across this checkpoint? Very few. You all said this was a stunt here. Well, who does he think this is? Or who does he think he is? Evil to evil. Why are they going to get serious about what's going on in this country? Gunmen aren't to the teeth. Carrying weapons, AK 47s, carrying rocket launchers, and standing on the middle of the road waving at the police to come on up. Well, it's not good enough, and we don't blame the individual policemen. They're not given the resources to deal with these scum, and the only way that they can deal with them is to be allowed to go in and take them out. That promise was made by Tony Blair, if you all remember the blackboard. We will deal with anybody who raises their head to create violence. Well, they haven't done it. It is time that they came through to their ward. They go in and take these scum out. And you are says about the communities that's now working on in this area. We would challenge you are on that. Because we know there were very few phone calls, if any, come into the place. So give the police the resources to police this area. Any other chief constable would have been sacked to say this was a stunt. It's time you are what he is going, but he can't go soon enough. This was the road that uh, the scum travelled on that night. Now, there was at least a dozen armed IRA men on that road carrying AK-47s and other types of weapons and also a rocket launcher. Now, they actually stood and waved at the police to come on up like that there. The, uh, you know, the problem is, the police didn't have the resources, but the one thing I will say to them, if there had been the right men that were there, the men that have served in this part of the country for quite a while, they wouldn't have had a wave too long. The problem is, they haven't got the resources to deal with these scum, and what we're saying to you Ord, and people like them is, this is part of Ulster, this is part of the United Kingdom, you police it like any other part of the United Kingdom, a chief constable if this was to happen anywhere else in the United Kingdom, would be sacked. Well, obviously you're going, so that makes no difference. But the one thing I will have to say here is, I'll ask the question again. Why was the full resources not here to back these men up if they had got in trouble? Because there's such a thing as a quick reaction force, which was always available in this area. Why was it not available on Friday? Why was that quick reaction force not available to deal with these scum? Do they not want to take them out? It's only across this field here a year ago that I found the bomb about a, a mile as the crow flies that I came across the bomb. So obviously there's a cell of scum in this area that need to be dealt with. And the community, there is good people within this community, but they're too afraid to speak out. But there's a lot of Republicans in this community who think they can get away with whatever they want. Well, they're not going to get away with whatever they want. And MI5, please, if you don't want to come to them, come to me, and I will pass the information on. I know some of you already do that, but any of you that don't feel safe, pass it on to me, and I will pass it on. Because these scums running around covering their faces with hoods on them. They're either afraid to show their face, or they're that damn right ugly that uh, they don't want to be seen whatever Whenever we started working with the victims we made a commitment that never again would the IRA be allowed to get away with what they did in South Armagh without people being made aware of it and we rededicate ourselves to that we were in Mike today and done our video in, in Mike and uh, we were there for a good half hour and people have seen us, 
The message we're sending to you is, is no longer will people stay silent about your racketeering, your drug dealing, whatever criminality you get up to, we will expose. I have to say the statement from these people and the leaflet that they give out, uh, you, know, you couldn't write it for a comedian. They talk about antisocial behaviour and they talk about drugs. These are the biggest drug dealers of the whole lot. They're actually selling the drugs to the drug dealers for to sell on for them. You know, so who do you think they're kidding? It's probably a situation whereby they're losing control of the drugs, somebody's moved in on them and uh, they're flexing their muscles because heaven forbid that financially they would be affected. But that's the type of scum you're dealing with and the type of hypocrites they are. But the other thing I have to say is we have been saying for this last few years that incidents like this has been taking place. Maybe not as big an incident but certainly incidents where they've been on the road. On our website, even we put on is facts. Unless somebody actually stages something to try and uh, mislead us. But even we have on our website is fact. We have never told lies and we have never, never been proven wrong. So I would ask you, in 10 years, t 10 years you would think we would have got something wrong, but no we haven't. Because we make sure we double check and double check our facts. And this here just backs up what we've been saying. But I suppose whenever um, the furore dies down, this will be forgot about. It can't be forgot about. The resources has to be given to the police to go in and deal with these animals once and for all. This is a part of the United Kingdom. And Sinn Féin and them have agreed that this is part of the United Kingdom. So it is time they started giving the information over. But how do you tell on your own brother or your own father or sister um, or yourself? Uh, I don't know. Work it out.